Hey everybody, Mikey Wrench Mike. We are back with another very cool electric bike review. I don't want you to focus here though. I want you to focus here. This tall I'm... kid is my nephew, Brett Brooks. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you were going to help me put this thing together? Yes, indeed. It's a pleasure to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that before. That's kind of cool. Now, we've been riding electric bikes, and you've kind of fallen in love with these things. Yeah, I have. What do you like best? The fact that I, whenever I go down a hill, I don't have to pedal back up. I save a <laughs> shit of energy. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We can do that. Well, this is the latest electric bike. It's from Mach Wheel. It's the Basalt ST. I don't remember what color. I don't know what it is. So we're just going to unbox it and, and have some fun. Mm -hmm. You're taking the lead. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's do it. Let's put this thing together. We have her all put together. We've been joined by Lugnut as well. <laughs> Famous yeah. from Florida. Yep. Yeah. Came all the way to Oklahoma. Just to do this. Just to do this bike. So we have the bike put together. Brett did most of the work. So a we're gonna bit. let him kind of give it a grade. We'd grade on fit, form, and function. So fit, how the bike went together. Went together. I'd probably say it's an A. It was a little bit faster than the bike before. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the headlight. This right here, pain in the buttocks, for sure. <laughs> Trying to get everything lined up just right. That's the hardest part mm -hmm. of every bike I've ever put together. Because yes, we don't indeed. want to put it together wrong, we might fall off. <laughs> yeah. Hint, hint, she took a tumble just right off camera right there. Because somebody didn't secure the seat. Not on this bike, but. This one is, this yeah, one's it, pretty I, secure. I checked it out. You it's, did? It's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about the color? I love awesome. the color. OSU and orange. with this black highlight, yeah. hey, it's just, I, Super if I sleek. went to, to one of the schools around here, I'd definitely be driving this on campus. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Oklahoma State, Oklahoma right? State, Let's go off tripod. Yeah. All right, now show us the wood because this is what everybody just loves. It's it's a little bit inlaid too. A lot, it took a lot yeah. of a lot of thought to come up with that inlay there, and it's secured. And they had to cut it out and then cut the wood and then put it in. Put the wood in. Yeah. Beautiful. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah, All right, so we have an A. A for just it's putting it together. A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A for the style and the step through and the padded uh, handle. Padded handlebars. Yeah, I love it. Now we've come to the fun part of the video. Just trying it out. Who's going to ride it first? That's me. Brad. We want to hear some screaming and some <laughs> tires <laughs> smoking and no crashing though. All right, because your mom would kill me. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Make your own way. Go through the yard and have yep. fun. All righty. It's pretty fun, but it's limited to 20. You know what? At first, I was a little disappointed in the speed, but mm -hmm. I got to say the torque is there. Like going up that hill, I was about going to 20 miles an hour, and that's the top speed going up a hill. Uphill? Uphill. That's yeah. faster than a lot of bikes go mm -hmm. up this hill. Yes, it's really nice. So the ride, the bike rides good, mm -hmm. and it fits you. It fits great. It looks sharp. Just got to apply it OSU now. <laughs> there you go. We've got your transportation covered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lugnut wants to take it for a spin too. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Don't fall off. Well, it's what do you think? Spot on. It does not rattle. It's super solid. The pads here for the handles. It's do you awesome. like the little gel pads? Yes, I love that. Everything about it turned really quickly. I felt very safe on it. It was it was a nice ride. Tires are fantastic. Those are big tires. Yes. Those are 26 inch tires, so those are nice. I, I loved everything about it. Now my turn to take this Basalt ST for a ride, and I have a little trick up my, I guess my short sleeve <laughs> right here. We're going to adjust some of the settings and give ourselves a little extra power. Okay, a lot of extra power. 
It is now my turn to ride this bike, and I'm going to do something Brett and Lori don't even know about. If you hold the plus, the minus, or the up and the down, and the light buttons right here, you go into the menu system. It's kind of hard to get all three fingers on those lights, but here you go. You go right here, hold it for a second, and this is where you can adjust your speed limit. So hit the power button right here. It will change it. They were limited to 20. How high do you want to go? Look at this, watch this. Here we go, 25, 27. 30, 36, 40, keep going baby, 50, 59, 61, 61 miles an hour. I don't know if it's gonna reach that, I will be terrified if it does, but heck yeah, that's what we're gonna try. And you can also, you can also change what is called, where is it, the um, intensity setting. Intensity setting is how much torque this thing actually gives you okay it's now set at three but i can go to four and five and so this thing is going to take off like a rocket okay and then if you want to write put everything back to stock you can put the uh, factory reset okay here it is we're going to give it a couple seconds it'll kick us out of the menu and then we're going to take this for a ride and this thing is going to be incredible Okay, well, as we've talked about over and over again, this is one beautiful bike, and the fact that it is a step through <laughs> is pretty amazing. Okay, like I said, we are now on intensity five. Whoo! And a top speed, it said 61. I don't know, we're just gonna try and see what happens. Okay, so let's kind of enjoy this, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Ugh. We're on pedal assist. One, two, let's go pedal assist three. And here we, oh, okay. Well, I didn't show you, but I rode this first with just the regular setting, okay? And now that I've adjusted the torque, oh yeah, there's a big difference. There is a huge difference right here. Oh, oh, oh. well, like I say, Mikey likes. Okay, because this is a torque sensor, it's going to feel me push on the pedal. Okay, so right now it's not really helping me at all. But if I push a little faster, it kicks in automatically, which I really like. It's a little bit different and it can kind of get a little scary when you're turning around, but just under regular use, it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go down to the smooth part of the road. Brett already tested this coming up the hill. He said it was really, really fast. And that was on the basic setting. So let's kind of go to pedal assist five. We're kind of maxed out. There's pedal assist five, extra intensity. And this bike is so steady. I love it. Oh my. Okay. This is crazy good. Okay, let me tighten up my camera, and we're gonna go all out. 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 27, 30, Woo -hoo! wait a second now, hold on. This thing, holy crap. You can tell by the red, we're kind of maxed out right here. I'm not pedaling. I'm not pedaling at all. Oh, wow, okay. So, I don't know about 61 as the top speed. Maybe if you're going downhill. That was a slight hill and it hit 30 like it was nothing. I ran out of juice before the bike did. Okay, this is, this is something nice. Birdie was talking about torque. This bike, the Basalt L ST, has 90 Newton meters of torque. That's a lot. For a little e-bike, that is a lot of torque. Now let the torque sensor kind of kick in here. It's a nice steady ride, 13, 14 miles an hour. I'm loving this, I really am. 
Uh, this comes in three colors. You see the beautiful orange right here. You can also get it in white. And it's almost, I want to say, like a moss green. Kind of, it's a lightish green that is gorgeous. It is beautiful. You can also order, there's a large front basket. There's a front basket with a wood uh, bottom on it. You can also order an inverter, a power inverter with solar panels. If you want to go off grid, well, how off grid are you if you've got a solar panel inverter that will charge up your phone, your television, even a small refrigerator? <laughs> you can glamp, not camp, with that thing. You can order that as well, which is a great option should you really, really want to take this up in the hills or in the forest or wherever you want to go. This has the Shimano gear system. These are always nice. They always work really, really well. I basically just leave mine in the top gear. It's seven, seven gears on this one because I use the motor a lot. There we go. 48 volt Samsung battery. I think is 19.6 amp hours will give you 60 to 80 miles of range is what the company says i'm not going to test that i don't want to drive 30 miles and then try to make it 30 miles back in the hills of tulsa so we're going to trust the company but it does seem to have a very very long long range this is such a nice ride though the front shocks super comfortable the saddle is nice and these little pads that Lori was pointing out right here, these are nice. They really make the ride comfortable. <laughs> this is amazing. And there's a little button here under your uh, power up, down, and light. If you reach right here, it's a horn. Here, see? Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Woo, please. Yes, please. And then we'll tell you these brakes, look at this. Yeah, 10 to zero in just feet. These, these brakes are very, very nice. All right, if you are interested in the Basalt ST, online it's $21.99, although they do have it marked down to $1,899, which may seem like a lot for an e-bike, but I gotta tell you, this is fun. And I say this about a lot of bikes, and I mean it more <laughs> with some of the bikes, and I really mean it on this one. This is incredible. It's so much more than what I was expecting, and the fact that you can change the torque setting, the intensity, and you can raise the uh, speed limiter, fantastic. And the colors, like I said, orange, white, and that moss green, they're gorgeous. They are beautiful. So let's get the bike back home and then Brett and I will go ahead and give it some grades on fit, form, and function. I might just ride a little bit longer because I'm having so much fun. So Brett, you're gonna have to wait a second. I'll be back eventually. We're back, we're winded, but we're smiling. Yes, indeed. We like this thing, we really do. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you like about it. Okay, we're, we're grading on fit, form, and function. You gave it an A. An A on the fit. For the fit, how well mm -hmm. it went together. Yep. Okay, the form, what do you like about the styling, the color, the wheels? The one thing that I love about the styling is almost all the welds look like they've been covered up. They're really hard to, no they're really unnoticeable almost. The only the welds that I can see are down here and back there. So it's a super sleek design in my opinion. On most bikes, you can see the weld. They're mm -hmm. here, they're here, here. They're everywhere as they put the frame together. Not so with this one. This okay. one. Okay, so that's good. Quality. Color? Color. Love the orange. Personally, mm -hmm. my favorite color. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knock on, Knock wood. on wood. <laughs> we love this part. We yes. love the inlay right mm -hmm. here. And I call this the parcel tray, the parcel shelf. Um, it's somewhere you can put stuff if you want to. Get a little Velcro or something Trap elastic. Your or something. Put your backpack right there. It's perfect. It's beautiful. So for fit form, form, we're giving it. I'd probably give it an A. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's another A. Function, how well the bike performs, what we like about it. One thing I will say, top speed. Top speed, okay. it, at first I thought the top speed was 20 miles an hour, but I'm pretty sure my gearing was wrong. And with pedal assist, you can get up to like 31, 32 miles an hour. 
So this thing is another beast as well. He was booking it. Yes. His legs were going as fast as they could. Yeah, I thought it was governed at 20, but mm -hmm. you can you can bypass that with the pedal assist. Yes. Okay. Um, you like the suspension? We got the dual suspension up front. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have one back in the back. It did seem to soak up the bumps and everything pretty well. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too rattly. It was really smooth, actually. You like the brakes? The brakes were on point, uh -huh. as Lori said. Okay. And there's a headlight, there's a tail light, everything you need. So as far as function goes, I'd give it another A, maybe an A plus for a bike. Really? Yeah. Okay. So overall across the board, we're going to give this an A. An A, in my opinion. Mike's maybe different. No, no, no. I, you, you, you're the, you're the person who rides these things. Okay. I'm just the person who reviews them. So your word is good. Yes. He likes it. He's going to give it an A, so we will give it an A. It's a gorgeous bike. I it really do like it. It is very beautiful compared to the other ones. Yeah. All right, so thanks to everybody here at Mock Wheel for sending me this. We'll have a discount code for you below. We'll tell you more information about the bike in the description below. Mm -hmm. And a huge thank you to my nephew, to Birdie, Birdie Brooks. And do not forget to subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike <laughs> right here. Always got to give him a shout out at the end of videos. There we go. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We're back with another video very, very soon.